Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 17. Alright, the previous episode we had a run in with a few of Howl's minions and one of them was uh, Boris. He has vampiric powers, he can control blood and he has like you know kind of got gotten in, in, our, in our way and has stopped us all our teammates and Ryu, Ryu, <laughs> you know, Ryu showed us his really cool power and his, like, you know, his and Tokagero's uh, combined efforts was, were able to kind of stop him and we're winning, we're winning as it is going on, as the fight is going on and it were, like, ended in a really weird position in the previous episode but <clears throat> I'm, I'm guessing we're going to continue it in this episode and we're going to get to a conclusion what's going to happen Ryu is looking strong Ryu is probably going to stop him and hopefully this episode will be enough for them to actually win against him and move past him but uh, a few of the uh, of his other minions are in front of them like you know ahead of them so they might pose a problem and uh, let's see what happens then because they seem strong you know quite strong and i'm not sure if uh all of them would be able to like you know like your team would be able to take them on at least uh at the strength current strength level i don't know why but the other like you know house minions kind of looked in intimidating and it seemed as if they would probably be a lot more stronger than we expect them to be i'm not sure let's see let's see what happens so yeah guys uh, let's start episode number 17 uh, this is uh, episode number 17 of Shaman King so yeah let's get started all right I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> all right i really love tokagero's power you know uh his his new technique like it's like medusa's you know hair and the kind of like i'm not sure what that actually is but it's really cool looking and especially when uh in the previous episode when <laughs> Lou was kind of jojo posing you know <laughs> oh my god that was great Okay. I'm I'm thinking that we're going to win, but who knows, maybe Boris I'm not sure. Like, let's see if he has some hidden trump card order. All right. Oh, it's the uh, time when he was here. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh my God. <laughs> the fish. <laughs> oh my god oh yeah you have <laughs> you have suspicious motivations so oh okay that's
Um. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They're kind of similar, you know, Tokagero and Ryu. Both once. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> he's like, Oh, my God, who are you? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god, there you go. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's still here. Okay, well. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. Damn. Yeah, he... Oh, boy. Well... Oh! Damn! <laughs> Whoa! What the hell? Damn! Yeah, you want a training? I'll give you training. <laughs> um. You follow this river. Oh. What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, start let's start walking down. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. But Togaro can just float and Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Great flood then. Legend of Yamata no Oh. Oh. Well, he has Tokagero with him, so. Hmm. 
Oh. Damn, you look so different here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, you know, a lot of thing depends on faith. Hmm. Damn, Ryu looks really good in this hairstyle. I have to say. Wow. Oh. I'm in a Morocco. Oh. <laughs> I was like granted Oh. Hmm. That is it. All right. Godwood. Oh, so that's why the like, Togaro kind of changed. Like, he has now snakes. Okay. Oh, God. I was wondering why was Togaro, like, you know, suddenly with snakes? So that's the reason why. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Nah, I think he changed. Hopefully, let's see. Yeah. Whoa! Wait, wait, what happened? What the? Wait, what is that? What the? What? Oh my god! Who the hell are they? What the hell? Wow, as if how wasn't enough, some other weirdos have popped up. I can probably guess their personality, by the way. Like, they think like justice is on their side, that type of characters they are.
Oh, great. As I said, these are the people who think justice are on their side. Oh, okay, 80% of them. Friends. Team Angel. Yeah. Great. Wow, they already decided that we are weak. Ah, wow. Great. Yeah. I'm going to love this, his character. <clears throat> Lucky. Yeah, a lot of characters, new characters. There you go, that's the biggest problem with them. They think that anyone involved with how are bad without even double checking. Yeah, you're not impressed. That's not actually the case. It's a little bit different. No, that's not the problem here. This. The problem here is that, okay, I'm going to talk about it later on. Okay, Lysark. I don't think so. Oh. No, that's not what happened. Yeah, I think they, they will lose this time. I don't think so. These exos looks really powerful. Oh. Damn. Whoa. <laughs> Damn! All of them have angels. Yeah, I don't think they'll even stand a chance against these guys. Oh my god, each and every one of them, great. Closest class of spirits to God. Yeah. Yeah.
like okay, this was what i was talking about i'm going to talk about this later on after this episode ends like what's the actual problem with them I think neutral person is the best one to actually become the shaman king. No, oh my god, life <laughs> yeah oh is it going to show his face Yeah. Here we go. He shows his actual, uh, actual, what do you call it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. What? What's? What? Didn't retrieve the other guy? What the hell? The food. Okay. Oh, they're here. There you go. Ah! <laughs> oh my God! Look. Ah. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Oh god, oh yeah, great. This will be perfect. Hmm. Yeah. God. Wow. Well, a few people. <laughs> we got to meet a few other people who are probably going to be a problem in the future. Oh, like as if yo, uh, how wasn't enough? Like, there's a few other people now we have to deal with. Okay.
okay that was it i think there's something else nope all right that was it uh so <clears throat> all right so uh we meet a few new people here uh, okay in the, in the beginning we get to see uh ryu how actually ryu got his training you know uh what was uh, the story behind it how he actually convinced uh yo's grandpa to train him and how he got to kagero all that you know all all those stuff so uh it was really nice to see ryu actually you know being the person who brought tokagero's what do you call it the motivation back because tokagero was pretty uh sad and like you know he, it seemed as if he really was confused as to what to do like as, as we like you know as it is seen in most of the animes and most of like you know what can i say like movies and stuff that there's always like you know the person who tries to get, go for revenge as soon as the person who he or she was supposed to get the revenge on either that person like you know if the revenge targets goes away the person becomes empty like they like you know they are unable to actually figure out what to do with their life afterwards and the emptiness kind of like you know there's an emptiness in your heart so obviously like the person who this Tokagero wanted uh, revenge on was Amida Maru but as soon as he actually like you know realized to let everything go he uh, he realized that yeah like the only thing that was in my life was revenge revenge is a very bad thing which actually takes up everything from uh, you know in your life like it takes up like, you only focus on that revenge and by the end of it when you actually realize that there's no one else to take my revenge on you realize that revenge was everything on my mind so now i don't have anything else to do what am i supposed to do with my life like, this is the emptiness that comes after revenge or after losing the pe person who you want to take revenge on so here again tokagero was very confused very you know wandering around like thinking what should i do but ryu kind of gives him another you know goal target you can say he says that <clears throat> excuse me he says that uh, Yo has changed me and I plan on be becoming a shaman and you know, follow Yo as long as I can. And after I become a shaman, you can become my guardian ghost. And like in that way, he, like, you know, Ryu affirms his own determination. And at the same time, he also gives Tokagero a purpose and a place to live, uh, a place to continue, you know, to come back. A place where he belongs as he says uh, our best place or my best place so yeah and then uh the grandpa actually decides to train him and gives him the difficult quest of climbing up the mountain going to the top going to the peak and when he reaches the peak he gets uh the grandpa comes and tells him about the story of the whole thing with uh, Susano and Yamato no Orochi. So now I can actually understand why Tokagero has transformed into something like that. You know, like I like at the beginning I thought it was like Medusa's hair or something. I was like, why? Why is like you know Tokagero transformed like this? Like Tokagero, uh, Tokagero is supposed to be a lizard, isn't he? So why are there snakes in his head? I was really confused. And then, okay, this episode kind of explains that because Yamato no Orochi. So, are there like eight snake heads? Yeah, I think so. There are eight heads, aren't there? Yeah, in Tokagero's hair. Yeah. So, basically, that Yamato no Orochi. So, so that's the reason why his hair is kind of transformed like a snake or like a snake uh, and a weird mixture of snake and a dragon and uh, yeah and we get to see how actually ryu trains and how ryu unlocks his like you know power and that was like the first half of the episode then we get to boris and in comes these x what, what were their name um just a sec okay what was their name
x loss all right x loss that's their name um okay in comes x loss a group of people now from the beginning obviously just like yo i uh yeah like these people like we've seen a lot of these people in a lot of animes these type of people who think that justice is on our side we're doing everything for the sake of justice whereas like you know in the end they're actually selfishly doing whatever the hell they want and whatever they think is right is justice for them that's basically the thing with them you know, these type of characters like they like obviously i am I, not denying the fact that they have had bad past i'm not denying that fact i'm neither denying the fact that these people are you know unfortunate they have you know people like you know their family members or loved ones were killed by how obviously like we all know that but i am saying that all those things i'm accepting them that yeah they they are real unfortunate people but now as you said in the end that you're basically what how is like what what you're doing now is basically what how did so how does this make you different like they're basically like and i think you know what i think these people are even worse than how like i'm okay i'm talking about every one of them like i'm saying these people i don't even know what the other people's are okay at least the leader that we saw you know like i can like the, the amount of uh, personality that we got from him one thing i can say that i'm not sure about the other team members but at least that guy I think he is in a position worse than how because there is a reason for that why I'm saying that is because how at least knows what he's doing is wrong and he knows that like you know he is an oppressor he is evil he knows that and is doing everything knowing that and like you know he accept himself but these people uh, not these people sorry and uh, this guy he he thinks that he whatever he is doing is in the name of justice and he's doing nothing wrong whereas each and every like you know everything that he's doing is wrong so here he has no um what do you call it he has no he doesn't even actually realize or admit the fact that what he's doing is not correct he's doing everything in the name of justice whereas like nothing he does represents justice it's just that he's doing whatever the hell he wants to and uh his one track mind only looking at like oh you're house minion you're bad you should be killed uh you you're not opposing how you're also bad you should be uh, destroyed uh like everything like for him i'm guessing like only the people who says that oh how how is a bad person i completely support you only those people will be his allies and all of the other people like yo and someone else who are in the neutral like no position he 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 doesn't he wouldn't even look at them like who knows maybe he might try to kill them if they kind of get in front of his ambition ambition of destroying how just like yo did like you know yo kind of get got in front of him and said that no you should not you will not kill this person and he said that oh you're opposing us you'll die that means that must mean you are like you know you're working for like you know you, you're like you know uh, supporting how you you're going to die like that's basically it like he has an extremely one tracked mind whatever he thinks is justice is justice for him and he makes his own morals and own rules that's basically this guy and i think that is even worse than how in a way but you know uh we still like you know we barely got to even meet him so like this is my initial impressions of him uh who knows maybe in the future it might change as we see more of him or something but you know this episode the way he was introduced ah uh, yeah it, he did not paint a good image in my head let's see as i said like you know anime does these kind of things where you actually despise a character in the beginning but in the future as time goes on as you see more of that character you kind of understand where he's coming from and you change your mind you know like that's called character development so i'm not sure if that will happen for him but initially yeah he 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 uh he is not okay so yeah that was basically him and i'm sure like yo also probably was so pissed off and like you know when 
uh, Lyser kind of asked him that why not uh, oh no not Lyser who asked him someone asked him that uh, like you look pissed off you were like no I'm not pissed off but he was actually pissed off like that was the reason like uh, I think most probably because this guy like yeah his his sense of justice is warped is twisted and <clears throat> and so now okay so Lyserk now here's the thing like Lyserk seemed a little bit what can I say like I think he still has this kind of a grudge like, obviously he's he's bound to have grudge on how so that's why whenever he finds someone like you know uh, this type of character like uh, the, the ex laws or something he'll be like oh my god they're doing such a great job they're uh, punishing the evil like as we can see here now uh, here's the funny thing you know what if Lysak did not meet uh, yo and made these characters initially you know in the beginning like if if he did not go for yo and before meeting yo if he met these characters i'm sure he would have joined them you know he would have joined them and he would have become basically just like them he would have been just an addition of the exos and he would have done the he would have been doing the same thing and i think like meeting yo in the beginning really helped him not go down that path because he like you know he like lyser still has that kind of thing in him which makes it which makes us feel that yeah he, he he's like a what can i say He's still unstable with his emotions, uh, especially against anything that's involving how. So uh, yeah, like it would have been a probably like you know his life would have gone into a very worse direction if he met these guys before Yo. Thankfully, he met Yo before, and Yo kind of you know brought him into his senses, and he actually realized a few things. Now now he's loyal to Yo. So yeah. Anyways, okay, and uh, all right. So okay, then the next uh, scene we actually go inside the you know on the way to the patch village. Um, these uh, the other house minions they kind of stand in front of their their way. They thought they would be able to take care of the ex laws, but I knew that these ex laws ex laws are not like you know people to be trifled with. They are pretty damn strong most probably how is probably the only one who can actually take them on i think house minions i'm not so sure about them like these are like really really strong and there's like a lot of them you know like it's not only that guy each and every one of them has one archangel so damn like these like yeah these like that's why like you know in the end it's house minions also kind of get worried they said like okay like we have to get the hell out of here if like you know like we have to tell how as soon as possible uh like if we are able to like you know uh like you know get out of here alive like they were even ready to like you know like they they thought they were going to die and i'm pretty sure like yeah they would have probably died if these people really actually went for them but yeah thankfully and uh like yo stopped them from killing that one person like as he said like you know like what you are doing is basically what how is doing you know like uh like we get it like how did a lot of bad things but the person that this guy was actually trying to kill who even knows if he did something bad like that you know, he is just working under how that's basically it that does not make him the same person as how he's a different person he has some different like you know he has lived his life differently who knows maybe he never even uh like you know never killed someone or something like that maybe he's innocent he's just a person who's like you know who's working for how and who admires how like that's why like you know these people are like oh you're working for how you're a sinner you'll be killed they're basically like that so that's one thing that is wrong here with these guys that's very wrong here they they categorize people that's basically what they're doing like, you know they are just very simply categorizing people into either good or bad like you know like they like they look at the world as if it's either black or white there's no gray portion in their point of view the world is not as simple as black and white it's not as simple 
there's a lot of gray portions a lot of other portions where everything is a bit like you know the morality is a bit different like it's not that everything is good or everything is bad the world is not simple like that but these people look at that world like that and their sense of justice is very twisted very warped whatever they uh, like you know think that yeah this is bad that is that's basically bad for them and whatever they think is good is good for them like these type of people yeah these these are very dangerous people and and they're pretty damn strong so like i'm more concerned about them than how yeah, like you know after seeing this episode <laughs> i don't know but i'm guessing like you know they probably won't mess with yo because their main target is how so they're probably going to go and you know mess with how that's what's going to happen but still these are pretty dangerous people yeah and uh, uh yo actually saves the guy the minion how's minion and like you know says that uh if you kill him you're just doing the same thing as howard doing and that the guy you know he gets angry he gets he says like like yo how dare you and he's almost going to like you know pulverize you but yeah thankfully it did not escalate to that extent and uh, yeah he's like you know <laughs> Yo's weapon is broken now and yeah we need to fix that all right and that was that and then in the end we see a little scene with manta and anna coming to place and they want to find yo where he is and how comes in he says that he'll become our tour guide so <laughs> that's great let's see what happens in the next episode so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to shaman king episode number 17 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king so until then goodbye and have a nice day